president encouraged Americans not to buy Goodyear tires, suggesting that they had a ban on MAGA hats. But it appears that their policy is just a ban on political speech. It's pretty common for most companies. So why is the president retaliating? against a private company for their dress code and potentially jeopardizing American jobs. So Goodyear needs to come out and clarify their policy. There was an image they failed to clear. Yes, I did see their statements, which still still failed to, failed to clarify their policy. What happened is there was an image that was put out that showed that certain speech was acceptable, Black Lives Matter insignia, for instance. But what was not allowed was Blue Lives Matter. What was not allowed was MAGA hats. Um, what was clearly targeted was a certain ideology. They have not denied that that image was presented at one of their facilities and they need to come out racial equality racial justice that is okay but not political speech that's pretty standard across the board right now that's not that unusual did the president even reach out to Goodyear before they, he tweeted? they came out and said equity issues as far as I'm concerned blue lives matter is an equity issue there have been police officers across this country that have been targeted because they wear the badge look no further than Dallas where five police officers died so black lives matter an organization who's in their D.C. branch said Black Lives Matter means defund the police. One of their presidents in New York said we will burn down the system. We all remember in 2015 the yelling of pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon at a Black Lives the Matter rally. That speech is allowed, but Blue Lives Matter is not allowed. And I will stand at this podium and say Blue Lives Matter is an equity issue, and, and Goodyear needs to come out and acknowledge that. Yes. Yes. Does the White House well, so let me just address that. The reason he called for the boycott was over MAGA. MAGA is pretty much unanimous with Blue Lives Matter these days, if you've seen the endorsement. Welcome back, folks. Today, I have yet another company that you might want to avoid spending money at, if possible. It's a company that's been around since 1898 and was actually started in my hometown of Ohio. A company that has thrived thanks to capitalism but is now capitulating to the Marxist mob. Now we're gonna get right to that, but first let me quickly tell you about an American company that you should deal with. How far will your US dollar go once we tally up all the debt accumulated in the fight against coronavirus? How will government mandated business shutdowns affect the economy moving forward? Did you know that it took nearly eight years for the markets to recover after the 2008 housing bubble crash? Do you really have eight years to wait for a recovery? Some experts are calling for gold to double in the next year. Orion Metal Exchange is Consumer Affairs top rated gold IRA dealer. Call today and request a free investment kit below. Mention Drone Tech Politics and get a free one ounce silver coin for qualified retirement account holders. Must be over 40 to qualify. Call 866-915-5053 and get your free investment guide today. At Orion, you get more precious metals for your money every day. Thanks to an anonymous employee, we now know that Goodyear has banned all political statements except for those being expressed by BLM or other left-wing victims groups. So Blue Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, MAGA, or any political statement they say, unless of course it comes from the left under the guise of BLM or LGBT. Those political statements will be allowed because of course they don't see those as political. Besides the fact that BLM is in fact a political organization, they're also a violent organization. There's plenty of violence surrounding the organization that the media and the Democrat party constantly distance the group from. Are we supposed to forget about the five officers that were ambushed and killed during a Black Lives Matter rally where they were calling for violence against cops. Are we supposed to forget about all the people that are being shot at these Black Lives Matter rallies? No, of course, we all know the media doesn't cover these stories and when they do, they separate the group from the violence that's occurring. So these companies can openly support this violent far left Marxist organization because there's just way too many people out there who know nothing about the violence that's being perpetrated in BLM's name. A small group of highly aggressive, emotionally charged activists took over our culture. They forced the entire country to obey their will. It all happened so fast and with such ferocity that virtually no one resisted it. People seemed bewildered, even stunned by what was happening. Statements of fact and opinion that were entirely within the bounds of reasonable conversation just last Sunday, suddenly, a week later, were enough to get you fired from your job. And a number of people were fired. It tells you that Black Lives Matter is in fact a political party, maybe the strongest political party in the United States as of tonight. Its members believe they can reshape this country and so far they're proving to be right. And I think it's time that African-Americans form an independent party 
not be an appendage of one party or ignored by the other party and using their leverage in a, uh, a democracy to say, we stand for things that are principally focused on the interests of the 40 million African Americans. Would you stage your own candidates? Would you otherwise endorse Democrats or, in, or Republicans? How would this work? They run their own candidates in the various uh, jurisdictions. They run them on the local level, state level, and obviously at the national level. I also think that it might, um, I think of a lot of things. The first thing I think is that we actually do have an ideological frame. Um, myself and Alicia in particular are trained organizers. Um, we uh, are trained Marxists. You said burn it down. It's time. So that makes me think I, I that you want to burn it's it down. I said if this country if this country doesn't give us what we want, then we will burn down this system and replace it. All right. And if somebody decides to loot a Gucci or a Macy's or a Nike, because that makes sure that that person eats, that makes sure that that person has clothes. That's reparations. That is reparations. Anything they want to take, take it. says right on their website that it's a Marxist organization with a list of political demands. So a Goodyear spokesperson put out this statement that is just so typically lacking in self-awareness. Quote, Goodyear is committed to fostering an inclusive and respectful workplace where all of our associates can do their best in a spirit of teamwork. As part of this commitment, we do allow our associates to express their support on racial injustice and other equality issues, but ask that they refrain from work workplace expressions, verbal or otherwise, in support of political campaigning for any candidate or political party, as well as other similar forms of advocacy that fall outside the scope of equality issues. Hmm, what if they're protesting inequality at Goodyear? Will that be allowed? You're obviously not being inclusive or respectful of anybody but far left Marxists. Look, I have no problem with black people or LGBT people, but these groups that they're talking about are purely political and do not speak for all all black people or all LGBT people. Just look at who keeps defacing these Black Lives Matter murals. Do you think they're doing that because they hate black people? No, they oppose Marxism and communism and they don't want this organization speaking for them. And isn't it just the height of irony that a black woman defacing a BLM mural that she disagrees with politically would be cast as the aggressor against police by the media and the police as victims. In any other case, the media would frame the police as the bad guys for keeping a black woman from expressing herself getting injured after he tries to stop a woman from defacing the black lives matter mural in front of trump tower it shows the woman spreading black paint over the yellow letters on saturday afternoon the officer is soon seen struggling with her as he slips and hits his head on the pavement he also hurt his arm there was other officers taking the suspect into custody. It seems to me that Goodyear and other companies who are taking similar steps aren't being inclusive for black, brown, or LGBT people who may not subscribe to these ideologies. The Goodyear spokesperson claims this is about equality. How much more Orwellian can you get? This is just a taste of what these people see as equality. Rules for ye, but not for thee. The employee who released this picture had this to say. Quote, if anybody wants to wear a BLM shirt in here, then cool. I'm not going to get offended about it. But at the same time, if someone's not going to be able to wear something that is politically based, even in the farthest stretch of the imagination, that's discriminatory. If we're talking about equality, then it needs to be equality. If not, it's discrimination. Exactly. This isn't hard. 
These people can't be the least bit consistent, which tells me they don't actually believe in any of these principles. Look, folks, we're not the aggressors here. The vast majority of us don't hate anyone and just want to live our lives. These far left organizations, the media, the Democrat Party, and these companies that are lining up to capitulate are taking advantage of our good nature, demonizing us as monsters so that we'll shut up and fall in line. Goodyear is free to promote whatever political message that they want, but the American people need to know that they don't share their values. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so by supporting the companies that sponsor us and keep us going. Or if you want to send a donation, you can do so on one of the platforms that are listed in the description or the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.